guys we're back for another dokkan battle video and today we're gonna take our boy super saiyan for vegito into extreme category super battle road the hardest stages in the game by far um we're gonna go into the patara extreme category stage this is where the big boys go to play if this super saiyan 4 vegito is a top tier unit we would see it manifest in this stage right here i mean obviously his support buff is not really going to activate on a lot of these characters or really i think any of them but we'll see what he's able to do um i do have him very highly link leveled he's not full level 10 links as of yet for me but he is fairly close so uh yeah he's not none of these other characters are great at power or crossover so that is one thing about using him here but he still does have similar abilities like super saiyan 4 gogeta right you know he has the super attack counter and all that he's in slot 7 of course bullshit can't stand that garbage um okay all right all right well here's the thing this i don't even know if i feel like playing around with this yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna wheeze <laughs> i'm not even in the mood today so let's just do this and i guess let's just try and get rid of this boy right here Let, let's just go all out and try and get rid of him um and then that will work perfectly because then, uh, Supreme Kai and Kibito can go for the stun on this guy. So, Supreme Kai and Kibito, um, you guys should be aware. Okay, well, I mean, I'm glad I used the Wii item right here. Uh, Supreme Kai and Kibito, in case people are not, um, like, sure, are one of the best Super Battle Road units in the game. They do a variety of different effects. Like, they're able to dodge before they fuse. Um, they have the stun. They have an attack lower. Uh, when you transform, they get a guaranteed 100% two-turn stun when they attack, which is super good. Um, actually, I did not need to use an item here because that STR Vegito is one of the tankiest units in the game and would have been absolutely fine taking those hits um, the way he did. Like, after he super attacks multiple times like that, and then he would have gotten supered, it would not have been bad at all. So, um, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now, we need Supreme Kai Kibito to do the stun right there. Perfect. They had a 50% chance to stun right there. Um, we did get it, so that's pretty good. All right. Um, I actually think I want to get Physical Vegito Blue on rotation with our Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegito friends. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we should be able to exterminate a lot of these guys as well. Yeah, we should be able to take out um, Gotenks. Uh, Veku will still be alive, but Gotenks is definitely going to be taken out right here. Okay, okay. So, honestly, Vegito in slot 1, I think the chances of him getting just completely killed are very high. Um, we're probably going to want to rock him in slot 2. So, something like maybe Physical Vegito Blue in slot 1, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito in slot 2 probably would work very well. I mean, in that instance, maybe even rocking Super Vegito on that rotation could be a bit better, but... I mean, we at least are going to activate all of his links. I think Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, you know, for global players, this stage is not yet out on global. I think Super Saiyan 4, a lot of you guys are going to use Super Saiyan 4 Vegito on your winning runs, all right? Like, he's definitely good enough to get the job done. Okay, we're doing this for sure. No doubt about that. Um, I don't think Goku and Vegito will destroy that Gotenks, will they? That's the friend one. The friend one is not rainbow, but it is level 10 links. Vegito's at 127k defense without support. I mean, he is supporting himself, but I mean, does that really count? Um, so after he super attacks, he's gonna get what? Like 45k defense or something like that, I think? Hmm. I, I don't think he'll take too... He'll take some damage, but I don't think it'll be too bad, honestly. Don't super attack any more than this, please. Uh, but I think Vegito should be okay. You know, maybe 20k, 30k? Which is honestly acceptable on this level of difficulty stage. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Um, right, if he double supers, he could take double digits, honestly. Ho 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 ho! Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is a big boy. 17k? Wow, that's exceptional. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was going to be taking more like 30k. That's very impressive. Okay. And then don't forget... Yeah, because look at LR, Goku, and Vegeta. I mean, they, sure, they're type disadvantage, but still. Uh, the point stands. Um, oh, 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 oh! Oh! All right, let me... I'm going to do this. We're going to we're gonna fuse with Kibito Kai. 
Um, the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to apply a debuff um, to Veku. 20% uh, attack debuff just by uh, Kabito Kai being on rotation. Then we'll go ahead and bring the big boy out. <laughs> yes. Oh, by the way, the team I'm running is Majin Buu Saga slash Battle of Wits. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is on Battle of Wits, so I'm able to run this build with him on it, right? Which is very good. Like, that's one... That's why, like, some of these, like, combo leader skills and shit like that is, like, super good. Because I'm able to run double STR Vegito as my lead for this team rather than, like, double Int LR Vegito. The Int LR Vegito is good, but they ain't no damn STR Vegito. <laughs> so, all right, cool. We're going to be able to make it through this stage. This was pretty good. Again, I'm fairly impressed with what we saw from Vegito. Um... I'm very tempted... You're dead. <laughs> I'm very tempted to put Vegito in slot one and see how he does. We're definitely going to die. But I think I probably should do that, right? Again, this is death, by the way. But... Uh... Yeah. There's no way we survive this. How is our Lynx doing? 127k, but it's going to go up with Vegito Blue next to him. 132k and every little bit helps all right let's see what happens here i'm doing this just so we can see again this is a rainbow super saiyan 4 vegeto nearly level 10 links i mean he could get what an extra one percent defense from fuse fighter um but like power bestowed by god prepared for battle would give us an extra 0.5 okay so we're leaving 1.5 percent defense on the table so maybe we'd be at like 134k or something like that, right? 133k defense. It's, it's He's nearly level 10 links. Maybe I should have waited until I had those links done before doing this. Whatever, it's not a big deal. All right, so let's see what happens. Again, death is highly likely, unfortunately, in this in this situation. But unless Vegeta wants to counter the super attacks, he's got a coin flip, a 50% chance. That's not bad. And then he dodged. I actually... Whoa. I wanted to see how much damage he would take, and the three dodge kicked in. I mean, obviously, the three dodge is better for us, our chances to survive. He double supered. Wow. So he's taking nothing. Wow. <laughs> that is very impressive i mean keep in mind that three dodge right there saved us a good 30 or 40 k no no bullshit that's like 30 40 50 k in damage that we saved for sure by vegeto three dodging that first one like that so they're just not super attacking that's kind of a bummer because i actually would have preferred them to super attack super saiyan 4 vegeto honestly so we could at least have seen again the coin flip the 50 percent chance that he's got um to counter super attacks would have been really nice but I mean, whatever, you know, <laughs> showcases, this is how it goes, right? Still, though, I, I mean, I, I must confess, I'm kind of, I'm completely blown away right now. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is far exceeding my expectations. I mean, this is extreme category Super Battle Road. It doesn't get harder than this. Like, th this is the pinnacle that Dokkan has to offer us right now. And he's doing fine. I mean, he's absolutely A-OK. -okay. So, uh, you know, I, again, if you're a global player, you know, you might want to toss some stones, get yourself a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I mean, Patara is already a ridiculously strong team, right? So it's not like people are, it's not like, I don't know, extreme tech, where it's like, I literally any unit I get could help me beat that stage, because there's no units to use for it, right? Patara, I mean, people are likely to have, you know, Vegito Blue Easy 8 and Super Vegito Easy 8, and maybe you have SDR Vegito and stuff like that. So we're just never super attacking at all. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, whatever. Bam! Crit! Yeah, there you go. Uh. Hmm. I guess we'll do this. Why not? I mean, uh, sure. This has gone pretty seamless, honestly. I used that Whis right at the start, and it's like, I didn't need to. So, super? Damn it. Yeah, okay, so he does he took 50k right there, right? Um, that's a lot. Uh, but his defense goes up by 30% after he super attacks. Another double super? Okay. Vegito is really showing out in this video. <laughs> and then now... Again, having six out of seven links for these two is real problematic for the enemy. I mean, obviously, right? 
And then now, Vegito Blue, give me one more. Give me one more. Oh, even if Gotenk super attacks, I don't think Vegito will take that much damage. I think he'd be okay, honestly. <laughs> Look how ridiculous this rotation is. Now, again, they weren't supering Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. But let's say they supered Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. He counters. We take no damage. He does nice damage to them. And then after that, we don't have to worry about super attacks on Vegito Blue. So then all, uh, he's doing rapid damage with all of his counter attacks. Just ultra impressive, honestly. I, I have been so far at the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. But again, when you share six out of seven links with legitimately one of like the 20 best units in the game or something. I don't know what Vegito Blue actually is, right? I, if I just like without thinking deeply, he's one of the 20 best units in the game. I feel like that's probably true, right? Physical Vegito Blue. Um, again, I'm don't hold me to that. I'm literally just saying that. Wait, should I have done that? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Uh, well, actually, wait. I'm just gonna do a Nurse Chi right here. Yeah, we're just gonna do a Nurse Chi. Um, so this Gogeta right here is, I believe, this guy. No, I, no, no, no. I think the the Vegito to me seems more difficult in the Majin Buu Saga stage. But the the two strongest enemies in the game right now, I believe, is this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then the Super Vegito in the Majin Buu Saga Extreme Category stage. Those are the two strongest enemies in the game. Um, like, you know, this guy has got a, a, a bajillion health, right? Like, we, we can go to, like, turn 10 on this guy very, very easily, right? Um, so, so we'll see what happens. Again, I'll probably put Vegito in slot 1. Because I, I really hope that Gogeta wants to super attack us. Um, but we'll see what happens, right? We'll see. I mean, I guess this... Sort of, uh, by the way, look how many times... Does he attack enough times? Do you think he could attack some more? <laughs> could he attack more, maybe? <laughs> I think it'd be fair if he attacked, like, six more times, right? <laughs> okay. uh, what's our defense? Again, 132k. Okay. Again, solid enough with the 30% defensive raise afterwards. Uh, again, this is very this it very easily could be death right here, depending upon where Gogeta super attacks. Please dodge and counter if he's 74 is that's that's a, that's a high number. <laughs> so physical Vegito Blue in slot one right there for sure, for certain, would have been the maneuver. But again, we're testing Super Saiyan 4 Vegito out right here. I mean the good news is at nearly a 3 million attack stat with this level of defense after he super attacks, uh, you know, I'm I'm liking it. I'm liking it quite a bit. Uh, how, how good this guy is because uh, again these are the hardest stages in the game 30 that's a lot that's a lot but again i was just sucking this gogeta off as like the hardest enemy in the game which he is him and the super vegeta are for sure right um no super attack though so we're just not gonna get a chance to see his super attack counter sure i mean whatever fine <laughs> you're gonna super attack super vegeto huh and we're gonna die because of that okay i see how it is <laughs> Yeah, if Super Vegito gets super attacked here, uh, we're dead. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes. All right, well, at least he got his defense first. You gonna crit for me? You have, you, I, I gave, he's got, a, I think, a level five silver crit crit on there. A level five silver crit on there. So, no super attack, really? That's two turns in a row where he did not super attack, huh? Hmm. Um, all right. Let's Princess Snake. I'm going to nurse Chi Chi and we're going to do one more turn. Uh, I need to ensure, by the way, that I don't super attack with Supreme Kai and Kibito. Because uh, I actually don't want to stun Gogeta. I, I don't want to stun him. Um, if I would fuse, then we'd get the 100% two turn stun. Uh, and then if I super attack with them, you know, we could get the 50% chance to stun, which I don't want. Because, again, the only thing left to see... I, 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 I feel like I'm pretty satisfied with what we saw from Vegito. Again, 30k from this guy is a lot of damage. But, I mean, I was using a lot of items right here to make sure that this rotation is safe. Ever, a lot of people get hit that hard, right? Like, physical Vegito Blue and Super Vegito, like, you know, their ridiculous god-level damage reduction and shit, like, allows them to be okay. But um, a lot of these other units, not really so much. So him taking 30k after super, I feel like it's probably not actually that bad. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, I think we're for sure going to die right here. Th this is definitely death. I, I keep saying that over and over, but we're definitely going to die. Unless Vegito gets some level 3 dodges where we dodge a super attack, we're probably dead here. Although his attack is lowered, huh? Oh, who lowered his attack? Did, 
Supreme Kai and Kabito lowered his attack, huh? Okay. All right. Well, at least we could see the super attack counter. Are you just... You're just never going to super attack ever? Really? We're just never super attacking. He has to... He has to super attack right here, right? Am I crazy? Did he super attack at all? Or did he su he super attack turn one? It's like we went through this whole fight. And he like didn't super. And we're it's done. Okay. Did he super attack turn one? He must have. He had there's no way we did four turns and he did not super like it's just it did not happen like that. He had to have super attacked in like turn one. And I just forgot because I used a bunch of uh like items and shit like that or something. I don't know. Um let me know what you guys think of Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Honestly, I was fairly impressed, right? We didn't get a chance for him to eat a super attack or potentially counter a super attack or anything like that. I mean, but I mean, that's not my fault. <laughs> you know, they, they were just like, yeah, we're scared to super him. He's a bad boy. <laughs> but I was fairly impressed with his level of defense. He's doing a good amount of damage. Again, six out of seven links with one of the best units in the game is going to make him very, very relevant moving forward. Keep that in mind. Those two are really strong together. Um, so again, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.